Hey everyone, it's the Pirate King and welcome to another episode of Undertale. And last episode we got here and we're about to face Undyne. I was I said I was gonna go get some food to like make sure I stayed alive, but I mean at this point it's such a pain in the ass to get back because I had to face a bunch of monsters to get to the uh, thing, and it would almost be moot to get food only to use it up to get back here, so but I guess we'll go ahead and just start fighting her. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. Oh shit. Jesus. On guard. Um, okay. Let me plead. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on, you won't last a second against me. Um. Okay. Alright, let me challenge you. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get fat. Well, no! That's not what I wanted. Okay. This seems pretty easy, I guess. Jesus. Seven attack, zero defense. The heroine that never gives up. That's nice and all. However, I'm going to have to ask you to stop trying to murder me. Jesus. Holy crap. Smells like sushi. Oh, let's just snatch this away from me. Can I even attack her? Like, there's nothing that I can do. Or not, why well, not attack, but like, act on her. Whatever, just let me leave. Enough warming up. Wow, I'm... You bitch. Fine, alright. Let me flee. Yeah, fuck you. I'm Audi. Audi 9000. Shit! You won't get away from me this time. If you say so, girl. Alright. Nothing happened, of course. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Whatever. Go away. Holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. I really don't want to fight. Why don't... What the fuck are you... Wow, that's some scummy bullshit. <laughs> Jeez. So I just have to wait until... Oh my god! Holy crap! Go away. Stop being so damn resilient. No. What the... That was bullcrap. I hit. Son of a... Bitch. See ya. Oh shit. Welcome. No. You escaped from me for the last time. I hope so. I have literally nothing. No, I didn't want to eat it. No. Alphys told me humans were determined. Shit. Whoa. Hey now. Alright, so I'm hoping I can get another snowman piece because I just ate that person pretty much. Shit! Oh my god! Flashes a menacing smile. Screw off! Jesus. Please. Sh oh my god! I fucking hate this! Oh, that was close. I almost fucked up. Can I please just leave again? Wow. Rude. Jesus Christ, what's going on? Whoa, fuck you! Damn! Our fate rests upon you. Yeah, whatever you say, man. Oh, God. That's so irritating. 
I, I have to go get food. There's just no denying it now. I mean, it's gonna be. I'm gonna waste so much money. How much money do I even have? I have 184. Fuck it. I'll go and get fucking 10 flakes if I have to. And we are back. Okay, so I did decide to go back to our little turtle flan flan uh, friend, and I bought a bunch of crab apples. Um, let me just see here. All right, so I'm at 20 HP. All right, nice. Um, so I have 20 HP, and I have seven crab apples. And if worst comes to worst, which hopefully it shouldn't, I can eat that snowman piece. Um, so yeah. All right, let's go through this again. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, fast forward to the part that we actually made it to. That way, I'm not wasting you guys' time. So I'll be right back again. All right, we're back, everyone. Okay. Oh Jesus. All right, and she's back to doing this garbage. All right. I've escaped for the last time. Alphas told me humans were determined. Yes, they are. But you fuck off. Alright, good. It's that last one that really fucks you over. This one, specifically. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck I managed to not get hit by one of those, but whatever. Alright, right now. Alright, yeah, whatever. Alright. Right, now- oh my god! I really wonder if I should have healed there. Die already, you little... Okay, here's the one that's fucked, fucked me over. You fucked me, Damo! Oh, God. Alright. Alright, we're outie. Ring... Not now, Papyrus! Son of a bitch, I was just thinking. You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would be great, make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Fuck you right now, Papyrus. Shit! Oh, thank god. Sans! Sans, help me! Wait, what? Why did... Is it getting a bit hot for you? You fucking fish face? Armor's so hot, but I can't give up. You might want to in this case. Let me get you some water, bro. You have Undyne the water? Yes. <laughs> Just dump it on her face. Alright. That's what you get, you jerk. Are you gonna fight me again or do I need do I need to run? What? Okay then. Wow, I used all- <laughs> I bought all those crab apples for nothing. Alright, Sans, what the hell- Yeah, and you're gone. And it has snow on it still! How is this even possible? Whatever. Well, hello, friend. Who are you? Oh, KKKKK, I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get- You came from Waterfall to get a drink. If you say so, friend. Okay, 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 are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. Wow. Rude as fuck. The water evaporated from the heat. Okay. The cup of rat evaporated too. Jesus. Let's save here. Because Christ, that was irritating. Alright. Ooh, a lab. What's down here first? Go for it, because that seems like a really important area. Oh, hello. Tra la la, I am the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. <laughs> I hope to ride my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Sure. Where will we go today? Snowden. Oh, we can go back to Snowden. Sweet, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll just say hi to Papyrus and Sands. I mean, Sands was just there a moment ago. He has like fucking teleporting capabilities or something. Jeez. Pet, pet, pet. 
the neck stretches infinitely into the cosmos. Don't worry about it. Alright, I won't, I guess. Oh, cool! That's what that was. Awesome. And I guess I can go come again sometime. Tra -la -la. Okay, that's cool. That person's still throwing ice. Has anything changed? Maybe I'll try frowning for once. No, I just can't do it. Oh, hey, they say different things. Wait, I've got a joke. Knock, knock. Uh, that's all I've got. Oh, okay. Sans here? Nope. Okay. Let's go check out their house. Is Papyrus still there waiting for our date? I kind of just ditched him. I feel bad. He is. Welcome to see at my house. Enjoy and take your time. Okay. So, um... If you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Sure. It's been a few days, but okay. Okay, dating start. Oh, shit. Dating start. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a good time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your board. Okay. What that? What the fuck is this shit? Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Alright, sure. Really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step 3. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. Those glasses on your face. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes! <laughs> no! You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No! Your dating power. Oh my god. Nyeh. Nyeh <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great papyrus. I've never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold. <laughs> I love it. No, a genuine compliment. Oh my god. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. There's no secret to my legs, just hard work and perseverance. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with, with a floating heart. But who doesn't? My hat? My hat? My hat! <laughs> well, well, well. Then you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. A present. A present just for you. Open it. It's spaghetti, isn't it? Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti. <laughs> That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right, but oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in the, an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scratches up. Oh. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ah! No! Oh my god. What the fuck is this? Oh god. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do. Everything you say. It's all been for my sake. Human. I want you to be happy, too. It's time for me to express my feelings. 
It's time that I told you I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Wow, Papyrus, way to lead a guy on. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper. Into your intense love for me. <laughs> oh my god, that fucking face. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like all this never happened. After all, you were very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship, so please, don't cry because I won't kiss you, because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. <laughs> but I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> wow. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> what the fuck did I just witness? Papyrus, are you busy? Or not Papyrus, Sands. Nope. It's locked. Okay. No, I didn't want to go in there. Let me try going back to Groby's. Maybe he's there. After our date. And if not, then I'll just head back to the, um... I'll head back to the main area that I was in. What was it? Heatland or something like that? I don't know. Nope, he's not there. Okay. Alright. Well, I'll go ahead and head back. Yes, hello. Yes. Hotland. Then we're off. Yay. What the fuck? What the fuck? Wait, we need to go the other way, don't we? Jesus. Temi Village, the room before the darkening lantern room. Oh, okay, I guess that's a hint. In case you don't accidentally stumble upon it, I guess. What the fuck? Please, no more of this. Thank you. Alright. Alright. Let's go into this lab, I guess. It's very dark in here. What? Why is there a camera on me? It's you? It is me. What the fuck? It's too dark to see near the walls. Okay. Hello? Oh. Um. Oh. Oh. My god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Goodness. Who the hell is this person? Um... Hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But... I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um... been observing your journey through my console. Yeah, I noticed that there were cameras everywhere. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but wa watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle. Asgore. Sorry, Asgore. No problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. Yeah? A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Um, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyways, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti-human anti, anti -human combat features. 
Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. Yeah, that's, I would say that's a teensy mistake, yeah, yeah. But, um, hopefully we won't run into him. What the fuck? Why did it stop? Oh god. Um. Did you hear something? Yes, I did, actually. It's also causing me to bounce. Wildly. Oh no. Oh yes! Welcome, beauties. To today's quiz show. Oh my god. Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Alright, yeah, whatever. Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Beautiful. Metaton attacks. Alright. Cry. Screaming is against the rules. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Um, not dying. More questions. Right, it sounds like you get it. The quiz show continues. Alright. Metaton. 10 attack, 999 defense? Jesus. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Um, should be Asgore Dreamer, I think. I remember him being referred to Dreamer. What a terrific answer. Alright. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Uh, I think it's metal and magic, isn't it? Sugar spice and everything nice. That's what it is. I like the soundtrack, it's pretty catchy. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train eight. Oh god! Uh, fuck. Uh, let's see. 16 point. Fuck! Oh my god, that takes away half my health. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Uh, fuck. Hey, oh, oh, she's helping me. I didn't even see that. Let's play a memory game. What monster is this? That's a froggit. What? Oh, fuck that. Wow, this guy is a scumbag. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah. Great answer, I love it. Quiz show continues. No, I don't want to use an item. While I do appreciate your soundtrack, I really would appreciate if you would stop trying to murder me. Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? Oh my god. C? Quiz show continues, alright. Time to break out the big guns. In a dating simulation video game, Mew Mew kissing Kiel. <laughs> what is Mew Mew's? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, chill out. Alphas, Alphas, Alphas. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Don't, do not shock that person. I will. Uh, I'll ask a question you'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphas have a crush on? Um, Undyne, let's go for that one, yeah. What? See, Alphas, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, yeah, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. That's terrible, I was just kidding, but... She seems very embarrassed by it. Margin of error, 1%. Well, 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 with Dr. Alpha's helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We well, can't go on like this, but... But, this was just the, the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings, okay?
That was certainly something. Yeah, it was. Give me a second. Wait, wait. I need to save, bro. Let me give you my phone number. Okay. Th then maybe, if you need help, I could... What? Where, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait, wait a second, please. Okay. Here, I upgrade it for you. It can do texting items. Uh, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. See ya, I'm gonna go save and then end this episode, I guess, Alphys. You're not the only one recording for, uh, whatever his name is, Jittles. Yeah, Jittles. Alright, save. Alright, so yeah, um, we got past Undyne, thank god, that was a pain in the ass. Um, and then we also met a new, two new characters, primarily. Um, Metaton and Dr. Alphys, I think? And we also got to check out Snowden when we went on a date with Papyrus. And we got their phone number. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I don't know if this was a very exciting episode. It's hard to tell. There's so much shit going on, I guess. I guess it was alright. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.